DC can be a rough town. Get to the body, it doesn't get any easier in here. Come on, man, put that water down. Let's go. Welcome to the Limelight Boxing Gym. Some kids don't have fathers at home or uncles or so we, we, we kind of take over the role of the added parent. Like they say, they, they take a village. Tony Simmons runs this nonprofit organization out of the basement of an apartment building. With the help of other coaches and his family, Simmons provides young boxers everything from shoes to gloves. Many times I have arguments with, with my wife. Instead of paying a bill, we might have to take a kid out of town. Simmons has some basic ground rules. Boxers must keep a C average in school and can't get into fights outside the ring. But Simmons says it's more than teaching kids the sweet science of boxing today. It's giving them hope for tomorrow. All the coaches down here work, and most of the time the kids emulate the, 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 the grown-ups there around. So we teach school, we teach working. Because most of these students will have to go pro at something besides boxing. And these kids are going to go out and get jobs and be low by citizens. Occasionally, a rare talent steps into limelight. I'll hail the feet to the insect. Run and tell the judge, even tell it to the DA. If you need a winner, who is you going to call? Well, yeah, I get a lot of respect from the kids because they, I guess they look up to me and see respect what I do. I've been putting in the work for 10 years and they see that. Malik Jackson started boxing at Limelight when he was just nine years old. I used to get like picked on a lot because of my size. So he'd get into fights. I kept getting suspended so I needed to calm myself down and just came to the gym. He lost 10 straight matches, but then something clicked. And it just, it just eventually came to me. And then the skill came, the aggression was still there, and it just channeled it all together and just became what you see today. What you see today is a high school graduate who just earned a spot on the U.S. national boxing team, something he hopes is a stepping stone to the Olympics in 2016. When you take a kid from scratch and have two left feet, and you see him be the best or the elite among the elite, like uh, Malik Jackson, I really can't put it in the words, but it's a beautiful feeling. Simmons says the few hours spent in the gym each day keep these kids off of the streets. More than anything, by the time they leave out of the gym, they'd be so tired, they just want to go home and <laughs> do their homework and go to sleep. Worldwide, more than 400,000 amateur fighters lace up their gloves each year, but only a handful will ever become household names. And gyms like Limelight fight to give amateurs a shot at the title, both inside the ring and out. Lashar Basadi for VOA News.